This is a toy car that's made to be driven by a child around their backyard. We're taking it on a 600 mile road trip from Jacksonville to Key West. In a real car, this would only take eight and a half hours. But in these babies, this journey's gonna take two months. Right now we're 329 miles in and we found a major issue on the bottom of the red car. The front tires were balding like crazy and we weren't sure what caused it until yesterday when we found out that the welding on my car failed and the underside of my car is completely cracked. Luckily, we're able to find a mobile welder who agreed to come to the hotel today to do his best to fix it so we can get back on the road soon. Welcome to day 34, where we're attempting the longest journey ever done in a toy car. It's day 34 of attempting the world record for the longest journey by a toy car, and I think there is a rocket launch happening in three minutes that we might be able to see from this hotel, so we are heading outside in like the fastest fashion possible. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. We're not in like the prime spot, but we're hoping that we do. It's in two minutes. Pretty cloudy, I don't know guys. This is not prime weather for it, but we're gonna we're gonna watch. It's happening in two minutes. The hotel is right here and we think it's supposed to be right there. Fingers crossed, we're gonna keep our eye on it. Floridians and visitors as far as Jacksonville, Cape Coral, and Miami could see the ULA's Delta IV Heavy. We aren't Miami. seeing anything here. All right, guys, I think it's a it's a wash. We've been staring at the sky for 10 minutes, blinding ourselves, because it's so bright out here. We have all the sunglasses. We aren't seeing anything. So, for anyone who missed yesterday's vlog, my car is very broken. So we have a welder coming tonight to try to fix it. We are stuck at this hotel for the day because we're waiting for the welder. So let's get back into the hotel room. Sadly, this was a wash. It is time. I am heading out to the pool area to get footage sorted while Lauren is working on the logbook in the room. I am a hot minute behind on sorting footage. So to the person editing this video, I am so sorry. I'm getting it done. I promise. Go work by the pool because if I stay inside this hotel room any longer, I will go insane. We've been in this room working for what feels like days. It probably hasn't been that long. That might be dramatic. Let's go. Ooh, baby. All right, they have the perfect table over here to sit at. I came to the pool, but I couldn't come without some snacks for working. I grabbed one healthy thing, an orange. And then if anyone has been watching these vlogs since the beginning, I am absolutely addicted to chocolate. So I might've packed like, I don't know, maybe 25 Hershey Kisses. I don't know how many are in a serving, but it's probably less than 25. I've already had like 10 today. <laughs> I have a chocolate problem, yeah. Anyone who's been sending the super thanks down below in the comments, I've spent it all on chocolate. So thank you for feeding my chocolate fund. I just finished up a bunch of work, but I'm far from done. That being said, the welder should be here very soon. He just texted me and asked for the address. So I'm gonna go get ready and out of my PJs and we gotta get the cars ready. And then we'll talk to the welder and see if my car is fixable. Fingers crossed. Tyler the welder has arrived. He said he does have to work on the car outside because there's gonna be sparks flying and all these things happening. So he said we do have to figure out how to get it out there. It's very fragile right now and we don't wanna break the frame so we have to be careful careful will we carry it out of the hotel room and then push it outside. I won't drive it outside because we don't want to put any weight on this frame right now. So fingers crossed you can make it with just us pushing it. For anyone who missed yesterday's vlog and didn't see what was wrong with this, the tires were completely balding and we weren't sure why because if you look at Lauren's tires, they're totally fine. It's only my car's tires and we're like, something must be causing this. We looked at the wheel and see how it's like on a slant? It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be straight like her wheel. So then when Lauren was looking at it, she you notice this right here is completely cracked on the frame of the vehicle. Like it's a welding job that apparently just failed. You can even see it goes all the way up top. It's really bad. So unfortunately that piece is kind of connected to everything else on the entire frame of the underside of the car. So it's really important we fix it because it would be next to impossible to actually replace this. So that's why Tyler's here. He said he could work on the car at this hotel. He's a mobile welder in this area and he said, Basically, if we get the car outside, he's gonna try his best to fix it. So we have to be very gentle and trying to lift this out of the room and then push it outside. Fingers crossed, because if this thing snaps, then everything is over. So 
so he parked over in this parking lot, but we didn't want to have to carry it over the curb, so we're taking it around and this way. Too. I thought it was a little bit bigger. That's Is that tiny. a good thing? Just so you have a little extra support, because if I just weld that, it's probably going to crack again. You think? Okay. Yeah, maybe. He's prepping the area to try to weld it and also adding a little bit for reinforcement as well, which will be great, because we don't want that breaking again, so he's going to fully fix it. I hope it works out. I think it will. He said he thinks it's actually smaller than we thought it was in the videos, which is great news. But hopefully it works out. He said sparks will be flying in a second. He said don't look at it. We don't want the weld blinding us. <laughs> Strong enough. It got its own. Wow. I don't think that's breaking. The fix right here that has now officially been welded. And I think we are good to get back on the road, baby. So if anyone is in the Stewart area, Casper's Mobile Welding is the one who helped us fix the car. His name is Tyler. Tyler is the owner of the business, and our toy car is officially fixed now because of him. So in the Stewart area, he's the one to go to if you need welding services. And I think we should be good to get back on the road ASAP Rocky, baby. Look at me so Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Pushing it back to the room. All fixed up. Back in we go. Car's back in the room, and we think it's good to go now, baby. We're both starving, so I'm gonna eat something and try to keep sorting YouTube footage. I am so happy the car's fixed. I am still nervous to get on the road. I don't know why, it just makes me still so nervous, but I'm sure Tyler did an amazing job. It's time to eat. Hey, hey guys, so we are back in the room with the cars. I am laying down, and I just wanted to say that today is the day, if you guys saw back a bunch of days, there was a day where we got really bad news. And in real life, in my time, because we post a few days back to have time to edit these vlogs and everything, today's the day that that bad news actually came to us and it's been a really really hard day for us like we've just it's been a struggle over here so since the welder left we've kind of just been figuring things out and trying to discuss what our next steps are going to be on this entire journey so this vlog is not as long as usual so what i'm going to do is tomorrow we're going to stay at this hotel one more day because we need to figure out how we're going to pivot we have to make new signs for the cars um because everything's basically going to be a little bit different now also the same at the same time same but different so we're going to spend tomorrow trying to figure out how we're gonna pivot and still make this journey happen and still make it to the finish line. So uh, this is gonna be a two day vlog instead of a one because our headspace just has not been there today to continue this vlog all day like we can normally. So tomorrow we're gonna pick this back up in the morning, hopefully after a good night's sleep. I feel rejuvenated and alive to just make the most of this and make things happen tomorrow, baby. So it's like one in the morning now and we've just been talking about this and trying to figure things out and I'm exhausted and just so uneasy. So I'm gonna go to bed and we'll continue the vlog in the morning. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning! I think it's day 34 of going 500 miles in two cars. So I haven't posted yet today. I know it's like after 6 p.m. right now, guys. It's like probably like 6.30 p.m. and I haven't filmed at all today. So I wanted to give you guys all the updates because today has been a major self-reflection day for me. As I said before, I went to bed last night. This is the day in my real life where everything is actually coming together and hitting me that we're no longer doing this for a record. And now we're just doing it as a fundraiser to save animals. 
by the time you guys watch this vlog, this might be old news to you guys, but here in my real world, in my real time, this is all brand new and fresh and I've been processing all day. I have spent the entire day just thinking of various things and changes and how this is gonna all change our drive tomorrow because we weren't ready to leave today because I needed a day just to process all of this and figure out what this meant moving forward and if there's anything we wanted to change about this now that we have a little bit more flexibility. So I have a bunch of updates I am excited to share with you guys and a bunch of my ideas. So the first big update is since making this announcement, our fundraiser has really gained some traction, which is so cool. I swear any tears that I'm shedding are happy tears. We have officially raised $8,343 toward ending kill shelters with Best Friends Animal Society. That's 83% of our goal, guys. And we're only about halfway to the finish line. Check it out, baby. The second big thing I've been thinking about is our witness book. Before, we were required to have people sign this witness book along our route and put their name, location, date, time, email, phone number, and signature. And honestly, I kinda like it. I like connecting with the people along the route having this witness book, but my thoughts are it doesn't have to be so official. I think it could be switched over to being a little bit more personal now. So I still think people should do their name, location, date, and time they saw us because that'd be so cool to look back on. But instead of email or phone number and signature, I'm thinking they could just put a personal note for us. So if they saw us and they want to wish us good luck, if they love watching our videos and they want to write something about that, if they're inspired, any anything, I just think it'd be really cool to instead look back on the people we met along the route and things that they said to us along the route or that they wanted us to remember throughout our journey instead of having it be so official with an email, phone number, and signature. I think it's gonna be way cooler to look back on this way and I'm really excited about that change. But they'll still be witnessing us so it's still gonna be called The Witness Bug. A lot of people have been asking if we are still going to use our tracker because before we were required every single day to say how far we went, how far we were from the finish line, all of those things. We also had to say our average miles per hour and our max speed. The answer is hell yeah, we're still gonna use this thing. I also love looking at our average speed for the day because it's funny to see like, were we really held up on bad sidewalks that day? Was our average speed only one miles per hour or was it three, was it four? Like I just think it's so cool to be able to see that based on the day, so yes, we're still gonna use this. I also wanna know how many miles we actually go by the finish line. Like, I'm genuinely curious if these toy cars are gonna actually make it to the finish line, because they're still toy cars made for kids. These toy cars are made for children riding around in their backyard. They're not made to make it from the top of Florida to the bottom of Florida. So yes, I still wanna see how many miles we are at when we hit that finish line. So yes, I will still be turning on this tracker every single morning and turning it off at every single hotel, giving you guys the stats from every single day. And I wanna answer the last big question that we keep getting and it's if we're gonna go for the official title, The Longest Journey by Toy Car again, even though this time didn't work out and we decided to choose animals over going for the title. And the answer is, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> hell yeah baby! We are still gonna go for the title for The Longest Journey by Toy Car, but obviously it cannot be on this attempt. For this attempt, it's purely now a fundraiser to help save animals and I have confidence that we're gonna make a really big difference with saving animals on this trip. But that doesn't mean we don't wanna hold a record title together as best friends since kindergarten. We had a call earlier today with Fredo Toys, the manufacturer of our cars. They were so supportive about our decision, which was amazing. We had a whole session brainstorming how we could do this again. And the conclusion we came to is, we're not sure exactly where we're gonna do it, but we are definitely eyeing California. I do understand it's way more hilly. We haven't checked out the sidewalks yet, but I know anywhere doesn't have perfect sidewalks in America, so we're not expecting perfection over here, but we do need to see if it would even be possible, which means we'd have to go drive the entire route in a real car to see if it's possible, which we will be doing, and if it's not possible, we'll pick a different state. So if anyone has any suggestions below of what you're thinking, let me know. We would wanna go for longer, next time we're thinking maybe instead of 500 or 600 miles, we go 1,000? Is that crazy? Maybe? We just like the number 1,000. It might be not possible. We might not be able to find a route that makes it even possible to go 1,000 miles in a toy car because we need sidewalks, we need bike lanes, we need grass. Like, it's not easy to make it so that we would be able to hold the world record title with the route. So it's gonna take some research. We want to go for that within the next year, 
but we still want to do it to be able to save animals, which means that we do have to come up with the money that is being asked for by the world record company. I'm not gonna say the name. <laughs> But you guys know the name. Basically, we're gonna have to come up with $7,000 before then, so we think it's gonna be probably not for a few months, up to a year, because we do need time to save up for that. During this current 500 miles in a toy car, we are gonna start to save up for that in any way that we can. A lot of people have told us to start a GoFundMe, but feel weird about doing that. I, I don't know, I just, I don't wanna do that and put that on anyone except for ourselves. But there are a few ways that I think we could work together to make it happen. First one is if anyone's been supporting us by getting our merch, we designed these ourselves before this record attempt. I also wear animal socks every single day to help save animals. These are also designed by me and my amazing friend, Lexi. And each sock helps save the animal that the sock is. Part of the sales in the socks and the shirt go towards saving animals, but the other part of it goes towards supporting our journey here. And now it's also gonna be going towards supporting us so that we can do this journey again, but longer, better, and for the official title. Actually, I don't know about better, but definitely longer, because this was pretty freaking cool and hard to talk. And for anyone in the market for a toy car, Freddo Toys also came through for us. They said they would not only give you guys a 15% discount code on their website, but they would also support us by giving us a small percent of the sale as well to go toward our next journey in toy cars. All you gotta do is use the code Cass and Lauren, which I will also link below. You can go to the Freddo Toys website or to dtidirect.com. It's all gonna be linked down below. And of course, the last way you can support us is by supporting our mission and not necessarily supporting us, but supporting what we care the most about, which is Best Friends Animal Society to help save animals. We also had another awesome idea today to auction off our cars. I do have some ideas to like, now that we don't have any rules or anything like that, where we can make the car is like extra fun and just really have a really good time with them along the route like kind of like designing them a little bit ha, hint hint I'll let you know more about that tomorrow because I'm really excited about it. We have some ideas to like now make our cars a little bit more fun and a little less official now that we're doing this as a fundraiser, keyword fun. And for some time soon, we'll be starting to maybe auction off the cars for the end of the entire attempt. We do want to keep the hoods of the car though, so we're going to try to duplicate them. Fredo Toys did say they'd send us another hood. We'll have to get the stickers we already had to make duplicates because we do want to hang the hoods of the car on the wall in our houses, even if we auction off the cars. And we want the person who gets the car to also get the same hood that we have so we can be twinsies and matching hoods on their car and on our wall at home. And the car auction will go toward our next attempt at the title. Since in order to fundraise, we have to pay that fee. All right guys, now we're going inside because I'm going to start designing the new signs for our cars. Luckily there's a Staples right across the street and my goal is to get the signs ordered tonight so that tomorrow when we get on the road again, oh my God, it feels like you've been at this hotel forever because first we had the hiccup with the welding of the car and then we had the hiccup with this whole thing and having to redesign the cars and basically replan what this whole attempt was. So we've been here for like a few days now. I am so excited and so antsy to get back on the road tomorrow, but I wanna get back on the road as a fresh start with new signs on the cars. So right now I'm gonna go inside on my laptop and start redesigning them, baby. I cannot wait. Let's do it. I've been working on my laptop for hours trying to sort footage and also trying to get ready to make the new signs. But I haven't even gotten to it yet and it's almost midnight. Lauren's also working right now. She's over here doing the log book. She's been working on it for a hot minute and hopefully she will be done with it soon. But I think we're both getting a little sleepy and delusional over here. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how long we can just keep checking away because tomorrow we are dying to get on the road again and we plan to get back on on the road. In order for that to happen, we have a lot of stuff that we still need to get done. So I have a feeling we're gonna be up for a little bit longer. But that being said, I'm almost about done sorting the footage. So it's time to work on the signs. Something I've been waiting for all day. Guys, it is 12.30 in the morning and I meant to get to the car signs to redesign for our car and I've just been sorting footage this whole time, doing voiceovers, getting everything ready for the shorts that we post on TikTok and Instagram. And I am exhausted, guys. It's crazy because we've been here for days at this point. And I was talking to Lauren and I'm like, why have I not gotten more done? Why am I still behind on everything for this journey? And then I realized that 
the first two days were just spent getting all the merch together and getting it out to you guys and going live. So that's why I am still definitely behind on everything. My goal is to get up tomorrow morning, get all this done and get back on the road. I really don't want to stay still any longer. We really need to be making it on the road to Key West. I know I've mentioned this in one other vlog, but at the end of this entire journey, I have to make a bachelorette party. So we do have to make it to the finish line by the beginning, like real beginning of May latest. So tomorrow's a really big day. We're gonna be next to a Staples for the last time and who knows how long. So I gotta get these signs printed. We also have a news station interview for a radio station in the Keys tomorrow, which will be so cool. And even though we gave up our record attempt and are just doing a fundraiser, they are still so excited to interview us, which is so awesome. I also have really big news because today we officially set our fundraising goal to saving animals, baby. That literally just happened and it shot up so quick past our fundraiser goal, way faster than I would have ever expected. Like it literally went today from like 8,000 to over $11,000, which is the coolest thing ever that everyone is showing us so much support and also helping us try to save some animals. <laughs> I am absolutely exhausted though, so I am not my normal perky self. I am so excited about it. I'm definitely gonna cry about it tomorrow and in it, my excitement, not sad tears, but right now I am just feeling absolutely exhausted from everything that's been going on and all the work we've had to catch up on. So tomorrow we'll be back to our normal vlogs. I promise. I know this has been totally different from normal. We got to this hotel and first we had to pack socks for like a day and a half and we were finally able to inspect the cars and found the issue with the welding. Then we had to get a welder here and then we got the really bad news from the record company that will not be named and that threw us off for a whole nother day. So somehow it's now been days of being at this hotel and I cannot wait to get back on the road even if I'm not fully ready to be. So I am excited to be back on the road tomorrow and we will update you guys then for day let's see what day it is i don't even know at this point i'm like losing track of time over here for a day da, 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 da. day 36 what the frick it shut the door guys shut the door tomorrow is day 36 so we'll see you guys tomorrow for day 36 on the road toward key west okay guys good night I literally almost forgot to do this because I haven't done it in so many days, but it's time to plug in all of the batteries and everything that we need to get back on the road tomorrow and turn this entire desk into a crazy station that looks like it'll start a fire at any moment, but it won't, it won't. We've tested it now for like over a month, don't worry. Today's vlog, we are still gonna be tracking the trip. I still wanna know all of the stats from the tracker and how many miles we end up doing at the finish line, so we gotta plug this in too, because other words, it's gonna die. The charging station is officially set up, including my power bank, which is essential for being on the road tomorrow. Without my power bank, my phone probably will last like an hour before it'll be dead, and then I won't be able to post, I won't be able to do really anything on the road, and the phone is needed for everything on this insanely long journey in toy cars. Hell yeah. Yeah, baby, on to the next thing. We realized we made a huge mistake. I looked over at Lauren's bed and was like, wait a minute. So the other day when we got here, our plan was to pack merch orders for our, the socks and shirts to help save animals and support our journey. So my dad brought everything we needed to basically pack orders inside this hotel room. And when he left, he obviously took all the inventory with him because we're not going to pack all of the inventory for our merch in the toy cars with us when we're driving every day. Obviously. Before he left, we scoured the entire room and we're like, he cannot miss anything. Cause anything, if he forgets even just one thing here, whether it's a hoodie or something else, we would have to carry it in our toy cars until someone in a real car can come and pick it up. We can barely close our bags in these toy cars. So leaving anything behind is an absolute nightmare. Well, guess what? There was something left behind. We messed up. And tomorrow's gonna be the first day that we have to pay for that mistake. I was looking at Lauren's bed and noticed there's a printer here, guys. There's, there's a printer here. So I guess tomorrow we're gonna have to examine our toy cars and figure out how we're gonna be driving with a printer. Yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. Whoops. 
So that's the downside, but get excited, because tomorrow's also the first day where we're gonna have walkie talkies on the road, which is something that we've wanted for a hot minute. And I'm excited to figure out how to use them and be able to annoy Lauren in her toy car all day. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, guys, I have so many updates for you guys. So I'm really sorry that I did not get any of the interview, but I barely made it into the hotel room and then there was only three minutes left in the interview. Lauren hopped in and I got the pizza now. I also I also wanted to shout out Kristen because she actually found my Venmo on my TikTok and sent me money so that I could get this pizza today. Like she was like, I wanna buy you lunch today because she knew that we had been having such a hard time since we heard the news. So she got me this pizza and it's amazing. It's the best gluten-free pizza of all time. So thank you for getting me this pizza to Kristen. I am sitting here working on the logbook. One thing about this logbook that I am not a fan of is, if you see how like dirty this page is, it's because this part under this plastic piece is completely sticky at all times. Like no, no, nothing is like glued down. You can like hear it, but it's like, oh sticky <laughs> it just attracts like dirt and then you try and get it off and then it just makes it worse like it's just ugh. we're actually so behind on this logbook but i'm working on it right now to try and catch it up a little bit the logbook is going to be so worth it at the end but it's just a lot of work in the meantime especially because i'm usually not a crafty person like i'm not a scrapbooker or anything like that so this has definitely been out of my comfort zone <laughs> 